back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome, I'm Lisette and today I'm going to show you how I kit up my Heaven and Earth Designs mini Lucky Project. I'm going to do this cross stitch pattern on a blank canvas and I hope <laughs> that it will turn out like this. Okay guys, the cross stitch pattern. Last time I showed you how to go about ordering this, how that works. I'll put a link over there so you can go and check out that video. But today I'm going to explain how I kit this one up because it's a little bit different than with, for instance, a crown jewel canvas from Heaven and Earth Design. A crown jewel canvas really already looks like a diamond painting and you don't use a blank, so you already have the picture on this. If you order a crown jewel canvas, you get sticker sheets with the DMC codes and the symbols on it. This is for instance for my mini cage from Anna Didman. So you have sticker sheets, so you can just go and kit up. You have the color, the symbol and the DMC code. But when you order a cross stitch pattern for a blank canvas, you do get the same info. Look, over here, the number DMC code this is how many strands, so this is if you would do a cross stitch. Then you get how many stitches per DMC code you need. So this is the info, but these guys you can use for kitting up. So what I did, I just made a copy of these, an extra copy and make sure that it's in color because otherwise you still don't have the colors if that's not important to you if you just want the symbol and the dmc code you can do it differently but i did it like this so look what i did is i cut out this part you see in this one this is exactly the same and i put that through my xyron sticker maker i'll show you because i have already kitted this part up as you can see but I'll show you the one that I didn't do yet that was this the last bit so what I do is I take this you see I have cut this out I take my Xyron sticker maker if you want to know more about that I'll put a link over there but you can just put it like this and then pull and then I have made it into a sticker All right, rub and peel I cut them out and I put them on my container I put the DMC code on the side and I had some little stickers that I can put it on here as well, but that's not really necessary. So I just cut this out. I'll show you this one. Look, and you can also just put a blank sticker and write it down yourself. I just had these stickers. Um, but guys, why am I writing down DMC codes and do I want to have the symbol and the color? Because I'm not using Pattern Keeper. Because in Pattern Keeper you can do it by DMC code, but guys, I'm going to be doing this off paper. And let me just show you. I'm using this, so I don't see what DMC code this is. I, I don't see color, I just see that I need this. And I can just check on my picture which color it is. <laughs> But I just, the symbols are really important for me. So that's why they need to be on my container. So this is the way that it works for me. And if you're working with Pattern Keeper, the app, maybe that's totally different. But if you want to try it like me, so just do it off paper, you need to see, you need to be able to see the symbol on your container. So this is 733. That's this one. Three, seven, three, three. I need two of those. So 
So that's basically how I kit this one up. Look, they're all in here. Um, so it's really handy to have this uh, sticker maker. And then once everything is kitted up, I make sure that I print out another one of these before I start working. Just for me, when I'm working, uh, this will just work as a legend. Because on a blank canvas, a blank custom canvas, you don't get legends. So I'm going to use this as my legend. And then I can also check the DMC codes over here. So really guys, this, what I'm doing is extra. It's just for me. Because I put the DMC codes on it. But actually when I have the symbol, this one, I can just look it up in here and then get the DMC code like that. For me, it's just do what works for you, but <laughs> I like to be able to double check. Okay guys, that's the way how I kit up a blank canvas cross stitch pattern. I hope this makes sense. So guys, this is it. I have kitted her up. So I have got one bag which has got all the extras that won't fit immediately in my containers. And I have made a bit of a setup that will help me work my system. I'll show you. So I'll just open it up. So what I did is here there are all squares, all the different kinds. Here I've got those little grid signs and stripes. Then we get into the rounds. Then we get into the stars. And guys, you've got, look, they all look pretty similar. So I really need to pay attention. And then it goes like this, all the angles. And then look this, we've got this one, this one, and this one. Ooh, okay, and here I've got the other ones. So I just put the symbols that look alike together. Here we've got all kinds of flowery kind of things, little moon symbols. And then here we've got some arrows. So this one isn't uh, coordinated by color or by DMC, but by similarity of symbols. And then I've got this second part. These are all the ones well, that are either, look. Okay, so these make sense to put together for me. And then here we've got, look, the hard. And these are all just weird symbols. And our favorite, the candle, as Anik calls it. So that's what we're sticking with. And here you've got a question mark and only two letters. And because I'm working off paper, Look, so I can just see, okay, I need a bit of a dollar kind of sign. Then I know that I need to be in this one. Look, because there's the dollar sign and it's just next to it. So that's the system that works for me. It's not the same system that I'm going to be using for uh, my crown jewel canvas. Because the crown jewel canvas, guys, I probably will do by... I think by color, but I'll show you in the kidding up video of that one. So this is the system that I'm using when I'm working off my paper legend. <laughs> okay, I can't wait to get started. And in the next video, I'll show you how I'm actually working with these drills.
this pattern and my blank canvas. So guys, if you want to follow along and you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you as a follower and if you've got any questions regarding this project, leave them in the comments below. Um, but I'm going to take you along for my adventure. Guys, I have never done this before myself. Um, yes, I'm doing it the paper version, not the pattern keeper version with the app. Uh, because I want to try this um, <laughs> and just to see how difficult it is because well maybe this is just fun it's just counting so well I like that so guys I hope to see you next time if you like this video please give me a thumbs up on your way out and thanks so much for watching see you next time bye guys <laughs>